Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Front Energy Channel. Today I'm going to be making, uh, well, I guess you could call it a magnetic antenna, pickup coil, generator, all of the above. I can prove it by showing you on this digital meter when I'm done. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm using two neodymium magnets, same force so that way you got a nice good balance of energy going through each of the coils one is spun clockwise one is spun counterclockwise and strangely enough this is also how they do it for uh, transformers as well and uh, it's actually the best method to use as far as stepping up uh, AC voltage. Um, so anyways, here we go. I'm going to take my magnet, make sure my magnets aren't bouncing off on the polarity. Got to make sure they're... each direction's going opposite ways out of each magnet. So we're going to take this magnet, I'm going to stick it right to this coil right here. Uh, I do not know the number of turns on each of these coils. I just tightly wound them all the way to the top, so they should be pretty equal in the number of turns. <laughs> I'm guessing there's roughly uh, probably 300 turns. And this is the coil that's spun clockwise. This coil is spun counterclockwise. And the only thing I'm going to do is just lock those two together at the top. And mind you, I have these coils twisted together at the bottom as well, so that way the energy has uh, like a little bit of a storage unit. It's kind of like a, a capacitance, really. So uh, the energy just gets trapped and it can't escape. I'm going to take my other coil, or my other magnet here, and make sure I can. There we go. Yeah, actually, that's really strong. <laughs> and we have them stuck together, and pretty much these two coils are now working like a uh, like an antenna. It's picking up frequencies, and it's storing them. And over time, just these two neodymium magnets holding these together, it really uh, builds up a sturdy Loctite magnetic pole. That's pretty different. So next, I'm going to show you the frequency that this thing picks up, and pretty much it just picks up the nearest and strongest output frequencies. I think which would be the EMF coming out of your outlets or maybe if you have like a uh, one of those bug detector repellers that sends out 15 hertz frequency I think it's at kilohertz keeps the mosquitoes and stuff out of your house so here we go Alright, so I have each end, my positive and negative terminal, hooked up to the positive and negative ends of my coils right here. And uh, I'm just going to turn it on to the volts here. And I'm going to change the function to alternating current. Um, as of right now, it's barely pulling anything for alternating current unless I touch it. Must be depends on the frequency it's on, and it could be my connections too. It's fluctuates here. Yeah, it must be the connection on my coil here. But anyways, it fluctuates uh, different voltages, especially if I touch it. Starts either rising, yeah, it usually starts rising in voltage. Usually doesn't lower in voltage. But uh, what really uh, makes it interesting is when I put it on the frequency. 
Oh. Hang on. Voltmeter's acting up sometimes. See right there, it's hitting like it's fluctuating between different frequencies. Uh, 7 hertz, 18 hertz, 4 hertz, 4.5 hertz. Um, usually it sticks on to 60 hertz frequency. I'm not really sure why it's hitting all these different hertz. Maybe it's radio stations or something. I don't know. But now it's on 60 hertz frequency. And if I put it near an outlet, I notice that it actually starts getting uh, like a buildup of the 60 hertz frequency. And um, it makes this thing really uh, electromagnetic. And it must stick to the 60 hertz frequency because of the how strong the EMF is. So it turns this into like a perpetuating motion generator off of its own frequency that it stores and collects. So every time I touch the coils, and this is what also makes it an antenna because when I touch the coils, look at the frequency, it's fluctuating on 60 hertz now and then after I don't touch it anymore, it goes down to 8 hertz, 8 hertz frequency, and then it goes down to, oh, I just hit, uh, I think it was millihertz frequency. But uh, it's some different stuff to test out, for sure. Just using magnetism to generate the power, it's pretty different stuff and how it changes on the hertz frequency. So if you have any questions, uh, Please feel free to message me and I will be glad to answer them. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Peace.